Welcome back, folks. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, let's see. I think we're ready to go. Quick is, where do we want to go to? Let's see. Let's see what time is it. It's 8 a.m. Really think I want to continue pursuing. this cold case. I don't want to do Welcome to the Vagabonds at this point. I know I know I can go back there and get stuff. Matter of fact, maybe we should just do that since it's close. Let's do this. We'll go back to the Swan and Mitre and see if we get any uh, creds for that. But I, I just don't... Um, I'm not sure how much value we're going to get out of the, uh, the Vagabonds. We'll see. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna push us to the um, the ultimate goal of finding out our origins and getting rid of the other debuff. But let's go talk to them. Let's see what they have to say. Pop into the Swan of Mitre. Well, well, our little wayfarer has returned. You're looking in a lot better nick than when we first found you, I must say. I've been paying mind to what you've been up to round here. Seems you're not a bad sort, me old mucker. So listen, i got an opportunity for you. Okay. You can keep on doing odd jobs for us, help out here and there for a few tickets, or you can step up to the big game. I'm offering you the chance to join the ranks of the Vagabonds. Join our family proper. Your blood becomes our blood. Our fate becomes your fate. What do you say? Um... Uh... In a word, revenge. Ah, okay. We've been at war with the fucking Isle of Dogs Syndicate for ten years. And for too much of that, we've been on the back foot. We need to switch things up, take the war to them, and win it. Win it for good. Getting heavy, aren't we? Well, all I have to say is that's a bloody cup I want to savour <laughs> every drop from. Okay. I'll suck the maggots from the filthy dog's flesh if I have to. Um, well... Yes. Yes, it fucking will. Weapons, armor, support, a bit of status in the streets, and protection if you're ever in a corner. Us vagabonds look after our own. Okay, I now, like that. we ain't the only gang about. But unlike the rest, we ain't leeches. We ain't lording it over others. And we ain't fucking lunatics. You want to be someone's pawn? Go somewhere else. You want to be part of a real community? This is the place to be. Um, hmm. Truth be told, I'm not sure of you myself. But Blind Nelson says he smells something special about you. 
and I'd be fucking barmy to ignore this now. I've got me some big plans coming up, and if you've got the right skills, you could play a big part in them. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll... Fair enough. You play your own game. If you want to reconsider, then come back to me. Just try not to end up on the wrong side of us. Won't be good for your health. Okay. More bodies getting shot done never hurt anything. All right, so what that does is it leaves me open to welcome to the vagabonds. I can do it any time. Let's um, let's get out of here. Look where you're going. Back out to London, and we're gonna go over towards Winter Garden. Let's see what we can find out. Maybe along the way, take some pot shots at the uh, the Jack Tars. Because we know we've got a there's a ship and a uh, Queen's house and stuff like that over there. And we know that they're an enemy faction to begin with, so. Although I do get a little nervous when I see all the cannons up on the buildings, I'm just uh, I'm just worried that they're going to start shooting artillery at me or something. All right, uh, let's head off this way. You know, I could always check out the Royal Observatory. I haven't done that yet either. Greenwich Park. What do we got? This is the Royal Observatory. Oh, there's one right there. See him? Whoa! A little closer than I was expecting. There's one right there. Observatory.
trout the uh, let's see I don't see a way in here Come on, Churchill, let's go this way. I think there'd be to get into like one of these buildings here. Oh, there it is. All right. Go check out the Royal Observatory. See if you've got any good loot in here. one there. Oh, I don't get to use this scope. I was hoping that this was going to give me a scope on this pistol, but it doesn't. Ah, it's a bad shot. Holy mackerel, there's bunches of them. Legendary. Come on, move. Get back, get back. Double legendaries. Wounding pool cue. Give me a break. A two shot nine millimeter pistol. That, on the other hand, is really good. Hey, what does a wounding pool cue do? Target bleeds for 25 points of additional damage. Slow weapon, that's the problem. This, on the other hand, is uh, really good. It does more damage than the uh, hardened machine gun, and I can probably upgrade this significantly. A two-shot weapon is really powerful. Okay. Okay, pre war money, I'll take it. One up above. Come on, let's go. Let me go find this one up above.
two of them up here. A bit overkill, but I'll take it. Oh, jeez! Yikes. Alright. Yeah, glowing creatures are so tough in this game. Alright, let's see. Uh take bloat fi and uh another famish stake. What the heck? Got a ladder here. Can we climb this ladder? Doesn't look like I can climb the ladder. I'll take this though. Ten pound. All right. How do I get up there? Got to be the ladder. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a hooligan here. Okay. Great Equatorial Telescope built by the Grubb Telescope Company in Dublin, installed in 1893, is one of the largest refracting telescopes in the world. 28-inch refracting mirror array was originally built for astro astrophotography, but was later used to observe and measure dual star or double star systems in the night sky. By measuring the changing angle and separation between two stars over time, the star can use Great Equatorial, Equatorial Telescope to calculate the mass of these distant suns. I love it when we get a little bit of history. All right. Uh, I'm still thinking, why can I not climb this ladder? It looks like I should be able to get up there. Maybe from the other side? That wouldn't be from the other side. No, I guess not. All right. Well, yes. Good job. Great Equatorial Swiss is the only Grange Royal Observatory that was originally built for astro astrophotography. It's later used to observe measured dual star system. Uh, dual binary systems are incredibly common, especially in the galactic center of the Milky Way. Unlike our own sun, we we'll wade through the, the ethereal plane of the night skies alone. Dual star systems consist of two massive bodies which were gravitationally locked with one another. Their dynamic dance can be sometimes called to come to a cataclysmic end, known as a stellar collision. Though it's far more common for neutron star pairs in the event called a neutron star merge, one of the most powerful and destructive events found in nature.
check up the other side. Yardstick. Okay. That actually makes sense. I mean, they were all about measurements and stuff like that. Yeah, this is a section on measurements. Meter, centimeters. We're getting a lot of loot off of these guys. Rubbish over here. I think that takes us all around. Um, let's uh, what's down here? the aluminum. Well, I'm not seeing a whole lot in here. It's um, like there's a basement down here. I see ya. Another one. Looks like he's above me. Got him falling out of the roof on me too. Some stairs up. Being the quietest here. Observatory has favorite shoes, one of which is provide the hand provide a hand in improving early mar mariner chronometers by defining the Royal Observatory's large red time ball would allow sea captains to calibrate the chronometers before setting sail. Each day at 1255 the ball is hoisted halfway up to its mass and exactly 
1300, the ball would drop, signaling the navigators on ships and in docks along the Thames to be prepared. First public time signal in the country was broadcast here in 1833 by dropping the aforementioned time ball at the predetermined time. I did not know that. takes me out to London. This sign say this uh, says nothing. It's in here. Oh, that's a clock. Not doing quite enough damage to take these out with two shots. I'll take a makeshift battery. Looks like there was another one upstairs. Where is he? I'm going to first person. Having trouble. The walls again. Go on, over here. Oh, weapons bench. Yeah, we're going to go to something different here. I'm not happy with this uh, homemade scope. All right. Accessible out to London. Large industrial batteries first used to power the alignment and calibration of the Great Equatorial Telescope here at the Greenwich Royal Observatory. 
was kept here for posterity as it has now been replaced by far more advanced power delivery systems. All right, cool. Now let's read the plaque on this one. The telecos, first said to have been invented by Johannes Kepler, a telescope allows the user to peer deep into the night sky or at object great distance as possible through use of optics in a specific arrangement. They can magnify objects and create zoomed in images with great clarity and detail. All right. Well, I think. Prime Meridian at Greenwich, located in London, marks the starting point for measuring longitude and serves as a reference line for the Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, established in 1884, it holds historical and navigational significance, symbolizing the division between the eastern and western hemispheres. Tourists visit the Royal Observatory in Greenwich to stand astride this iconic line where time and space intersect, offering a glimpse into the humanity's quest for precision and global coordination. That's very cool. Where is the where is the line? Is it? Oh, it's right here. Here it is. There you go. Let's see, Eastern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere. A little crazy, isn't it? Let's uh, take a look at the map. Not considered cleared. Not seen cleared on it. I think I've gone into every room here. Yeah, I've gone into every room. Oh, did I come over here? Yeah, I've come over here. Yep, okay, so let's, uh, Let's bounce out. Out to London. Now it doesn't say clear, but I think we've done a pretty good job on it. We got two legendaries out of this, which is really pretty, uh, pretty significant. I almost want to go back to uh, Biggin Hill and uh, check out this. Uh, nine millimeter pistol. This may be uh, a great weapon for us to have going forward. I know I I know I don't get the uh, the bonus with a pistol uh, that I get with um, the rifles, but a uh, two shot pistol is um, going to be very valuable, especially if I can tweak it a little bit. I I, mean, I may have gotten rid of all my 9mm pistols. I may have sold them because I know some of them had calibrated receivers on them and things like that. So there might be a lot of things that we want to take a look at. No, 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 no. I didn't want to go back in. Oh, dear. Sorry about that, folks. I'm not a professional uh, gamer, that's for sure. Play games for fun. Let's uh, try this again. Hopefully I won't get stuck in a long loop waiting to get outside.
Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Better go to Churchill. Good talk. box back here. Hmm, that looks like one of those military crates, but I can't can't loot it. This up. All right. We did a pretty good job clearing out the uh, Royal Observatory. I wonder if that... Does that now mean it's clear? No, it's still not clear. Hmm. I think these doctors leave, so. Let's go over here and see what's over here in this building over here. Like a gazebo or something like that. Danger. What was that? Hang on here. What was that? Oh, jeez. This, this is. Oh. Run. Holy mackerel. Tab. Tab. Oh. Man, that was a monstrous amount of damage. Okay. It's 40. 50. Stim pack. Go to the shotgun. Run forward, run forward. Reload, reload. Holy mackerel. That thing hit like a ton of bricks. This is a stunted radiger. So it's a it's a irradiated badger. 
giant irradiated badger. Holy mackerel. Um... Man. The oh, he nearly he nearly got us. It's like a uh, that was hitting like a Yagwe. Fallout uh Anything worthwhile over here? Rat at your nest. Steps up to the upper level. Doesn't look like it. Like I can jump up. Maybe there's. Yeah, here's. This looks like this might have been the stairwell up. Let's see if there's something outside that allows me to climb up. Doesn't look like it. Boy, that was a surprise. Get up on the. I get up here, I think, but no, I can't get up there. I can. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to jump up there. All right. Let's see. How are we doing time-wise? Well, let's um. Let's fast travel back to uh, Biggin Hill. And I want to check out this uh, two-shot uh, Luger. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the submachine gun because I get the uh I get the rapid fire, but it does go through nine millimeter ammunition fast. Good thing is nine millimeter is fairly inexpensive compared to other ones. Other ones are costing me ten. Nine millimeters costing me seven. Then to make it, it's about the same though. What I need to do is I need to put some lights up. I don't have any lights. Alright, so... I need lights. over in this room. Yeah, a lot of light. It's gonna generate a lot of light. Subway lights. I don't know about subway light. Fluorescent ceiling lights. What do you do? Is that not lit up? Hmm. 
Why is that not... Alright, hang on here. Um... Why is it not turning on? I don't get it. Requires power. I don't have to run power to it. It just says requires power. get that. I've got a generator right up there. I should have plenty of light. Alright. Um, tell you what, I'm going to end it here. I may muck with this off, off, uh, offline until I get the lights working. Thank you very much for watching. Everybody have a terrific day.